Hey, bro, what's up? Yo, what's happening? What's up, man? What's going on, man? What's going on? Who 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 I'm talking to right quick? Talking to Rick, you know, the follow your thing on YouTube, follow your pie J. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm, wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm talking to who? What's your name? Rick Brown. I'm Rick Brown. Rick, Rick, I, Rick, I, Rick, I, Rick, I, Rick, Rick, Rick. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on, Rick? What's going on, man? Yeah, you know, I was just checking you. Uh, I was saying, me like the Canada run, you know, Canada come back off marker, you know. If, you know, and the company could set me up and I'll give me the info, you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you want me to get uh you want me to get info on uh on Canada companies? Yeah, from America to Canada. I don't know much company. I, I check. your guess is good as mine on that one, bro. <laughs> I wish I could help you. I, I, I wish I could find uh I wish I could find Canada companies. The best thing I can do, uh the best thing I can do on that is uh is uh is is Google, you know, Google Canada trucking companies. But I I'm not sure whether whether they, you know, whether I, I know some can I know some companies out of Canada that runs uh up here in America, but um but uh as far as as far as what companies yo yo mm -hmm. yo yo guess is yo your guess is good as mine, man. I mean what I could yeah. what I could suggest for you to do is um yeah. what I could suggest for you to do is uh you know when you pull up in a when you pull up in the in the in the parking lots uh mm -hmm. or when you pull up in the truck stops and you see one of them you know one of them Canada boys you know pull yeah. them you know pull them to the side and you know holler at them and you know see if you can you know see if you can get some see if you can get some information but I I kind of think that that mm -hmm. you know I kind of think that being that they're up in Canada you know I I don't think Canada is going to like hire like out of America unless un unless they have you know unless they have a terminal you know a terminal that you know that they have here in America yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, so are you are you driving now? Yeah, but I'm not working this week. I do the port, you know, lock up, and I did the port over here, you know. Oh, you do the ports. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you you do the ports. So what um, what 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 the. What you pull containers or something like that? Container from Jersey to Indiana, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, so you so you just do regional. You know, I'm try to go home every day, lock up, man. I go home every day, you know. You know, I'm gonna know I'm gonna do it, but I go home every day. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. So you're a local driver. You you're a local driver. You what what uh what you. What company you pull for? I mean, do you, or do you want to say, or or do you want to say what company you pull for? JFK Logistics. J who? JFK Logistics in New Jersey, New York. Okay. Dark, New okay. 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 J JSK Logistics. Logistics. JSK. Okay, you say they're yeah. you say. You you say they're located out of where now? Knock, Knock, New Jersey. Uh, okay, okay. How long? Knock, New. How how long you uh? Huh. Do they have well, a web, do they that. do they do they have a website? Because I'm I'm trying to look them up and I I'm, I'm trying to look them up and I don't I don't see it. I see you ship use them. <laughs> uh, Still, JFK Logistics. I believe we are at 614 Flamingo Street, um, something like that. How how long you been with them? I've been with them last year, October. Oh, you been with them since October? Yeah, last October, yeah. Oh, okay. My, okay. Company, my company signed with their company. Hold on. 
Hold on, run, hold on, run that, run that by me again. My company leaves with JFK to pull the container. Uh, so my company owner operator. Oh, okay. So but you're not, okay. So you're owner operator. Not an owner yet. Oh, okay. Want to be, but Okay, and you leased on, and you leased on with the with the company J JSK. Yeah, yeah, JSK. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not the owner. I'm just a driver. Oh, <laughs> uh, you uh, okay? Oh, oh, okay. So you're so you're you're a company driver with the owner that's leased on to JSK. That's correct, boy. Oh, okay, and you've up. been and you've been rocking out with you've been rocking out with dude. Well, no, y'all been rocking out with JSK for. Uh, since October, but how long you been? How long you been rocking out with 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 the with the owner operator who you who you with? Uh, we're going to with them from same October same. Oh, okay. Oh, you started with him about the same time. At the same time, I'm mean, just good to get my contract. Them get a contract with them. Okay. Just sign up. Okay. Just work with the flow. Okay, my G, you you yo man, you 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 got a you got a thick Jamaican accent, man. You uh, you 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 you, you, you Jamaica man over there, right? Hey, come man to the world. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to now. Don't 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 hate me, man. Don't hate me, man. If if I keep at you know if I keep asking you to repeat yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm you know I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying to understand what you what you what you saying to me because that that accent, yeah. your your Jamaican accent is real thick, man. Yeah, these accents cost millions of dollars, you know. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Hey, why don't you do me a favor and break me off? Uh, break break me break me some of that native tongue off, man. Would, would, uh, just just <laughs> just just go with the flow on on whatever you want to say in in your native tongue, man. Over here in Jersey? No, nah, just your native, you know, your native tongue. You know how you know how you speak in uh in you know in Jamaica. You know, let's just you know just just break me off some break me off uh, a little piece of a conversation in 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 your native tongue, right quick. You can say anything uh, you want. Know, yeah, you know, you know, I'm from Jamaica. You know, uh, nice little island surrounded by water. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's and up. Food, my curry goat. We are and the saltfish, the curry goat. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. We have good reggae music. Okay, that's what's up. All right, man. Hey, so where, where, so you from, so you, was you born and raised in Jamaica or was you born and raised here in the States? Born and raised in Jamaica, I lived there for thirty years. Then I shipped to America. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What, what what brought you up this way? My mom, my mom come here mm -hmm. and find her siblings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what made you get into? So did you get your did you get your license in in Jamaica, or you you got your license up here in the states? Or let me rephrase that. Let me let me rephrase that. Did you start driving in Jamaica and then come up here in the states to get your license? Yeah, I was a bus driver in Jamaica. So I come to America. I wasn't planning to do no more driving. Mm -hmm. I was planning to go do factory work or just keep back, you know. Oh, okay. So someone is talking to me. That's how I get in trucking here, but. That one, that was never my first priority mm -hmm. to get stuck in here. I never could. Is here? I come and learn to drive truck, but I could drive, but not truck. Okay, okay. So you do have yes, you you do have your you do have your CDL Class A though, right? Come on, man! I'm a CDL <laughs> fully loaded, man. All I endorsement, them man. <laughs> Double trip, tanker, asthmat. The only thing I have for my life is a Jamaican accent, you know. The only thing I have for my life is a passenger and a motorbike. I'm not interested to drive a bus or ride a bike. <laughs> okay, okay. How long you been? Uh, how how long you been driving, man? How how, how long you been in the? Uh, how long you been in the game? 
have the life you now about about three years now and a little bit. Have the life. I drive long before three years and a little bit. Oh, okay. But them go it from you get the license till to this day. So I have it three years and a now. Oh, okay. So in Jamaica, yeah. man, when you was driving, when you was driving bus in Jamaica, did did you need? Uh, uh, I'm going to say, did did you need any specialized license to drive a bus in Jamaica? You just need a license for bus in Jamaica. You don't call that license open license. It's open, oh. like thirty eight thousand pound license with passenger on it. You have to have passenger PPV. Public passenger vehicle. That's all. Okay. So, but did you you didn't you you didn't like how you need a a passenger license over here or passenger endorsements over here to drive a bus over in Jamaica. You 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 didn't need that. You just needed your regular license. No, you did need that license. Oh, you the did. Same. They just give it the same. Oh, okay. They just gave it different. But you need it same way to carry passenger. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. All right. So, uh, yo, a young Rick in uh in in Jamaica, man. What, what was life like for you over in Jamaica? Oh, life was good for me in Jamaica. You know, the worst life I live in now is here in America. To be honest, yeah. When me and I'm a country man, I'm star boy, man, man, I suffer now. You know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, the country still opportunities here. Yeah? Come here, come learn to drive truck. Okay. See of my mother, which my country never was doing that for me. Okay. You know, me see a bright light here, a brighter tunnel. So, but, so none of the stereotypes that that we see on TV or see or on movies and stuff like that, man. That's you know that's that's portrayed over in Jamaica. You 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 can debunk that uh that myth, can you? Well to be honest, we're not like out, man. We're not hide and talk, you know. We're not defend the government. Some of you see a lie and some are it are true. But them don't show the good things them to be honest, you know. We're not take up for the government. Okay. Some of you true and some is lie, but them now gonna show you the bad things them. They might show you the nice things. Mm -hmm. When they talk to my like me, you know, you get the real thing. You get the real shit out of our mouth. Or we not defend the government or the politician. But some of them show up on TV is lie. And some is true. But they never show you all of the bad things or none of the good the bad things. They never show you all the good things. But when they talk to man like me, you know, you go get the real shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, this government and a politician. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so over yeah. here, over here in America, <laughs> of course, you uh drive you you driving trucks. You've been in the industry for three years, man. Uh, have okay. have you have have you uh been? Well, you say you only been with this company since October. What other what other okay. companies you drove for previously? Oh, all right. First company, we started with a little company. Them shut down now. I don't know them running a bankruptcy and shut down. What was, what, what was the name of the company? What, what was the name of that company? A little small company. What's them name again? Oh. Ruriz. Ruriz. Okay. We never them up on the map, but we get some help through them still. Okay. When we look at Ruriz, I'm a guy, JB, uh, Okay, you rocked out with JB Hunt. How, how long you how long you was with JB Hunt? Never stay along with them guy there now. Lock up, man. We spend about a six month with JB Hunt. Okay. Then fun again. I'm usually up and down you know, all over the place. Okay. Me left JB Hunt, man. Me got a Snyder. They got the tank of a Snyder. Okay. How long you was with Snyder? About some months, same way. Right. Some three months, same way. I'm gonna have to check back my record, but I think it's more on that. So, all right. So, then, so between JB Hunt and and Snyder, I mean, you rocked out for both of them. 
Uh, you're no, mm-hmm. you're you're no longer with neither one of them. What was, what was the reason for your, what was the reason for you leaving JB Hunt? Oh, JB Hunt, we was following rules and regulations. Oh, okay, okay. I'm a squeeze that car, squeeze that car, that car off the wave room mirror. Okay. So then, some big long, a long suspension. Okay. What about uh, so, what about Snyder? What what was the reason for you leaving them? Just did walk off and leave Snyder. Me and them never have nothing. Just walk off and leave Snyder. I believe when they get something better. Oh, okay. So you wanted but, you wanted something better than uh better than Snyder. How 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 yeah, how much how much uh you know what 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 was this? You you came in as an experienced driver with Snyder. So what what was what was the CPM they was offering and what uh. What what division did you go out in? Did you go out in tankers or did you go out in? Because you said you got all your you got all your endorsements. So did you did you do tankers? Did you do flatbed? What what you do with uh Snyder? I did tanker for Snyder. Huh? I did tanker. I did tanker. Oh, tanker, for tanker, tanker. Okay. Girl. Somebody leave Snyder. One at a time with the Western or Express. I never even remember them guy. The Western Express are the drive on for Western Express. The American language may have you know, accent. The Western Express. So I was doing regional for them, Northeast. They come home every Friday and go back out Sunday night or Monday morning. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, man, like I said, you got it, you bro, you got a thick ass Jamaican accent. And I'm shit, man. I, you know, like I said, I'm 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 digging it, man. I'm I'm digging your accent, man. So so let me ask you this, man. Um now that you the company that you're with, you're you're good with the company you with? You you like the company you with? They take they they taking care of you? Yeah, not so good still in uh black out, man, but it's true, them say freight slow down now, you know? So I'm in the audio every day again, like before. But you know, through the COVID-19, everybody going to get blamed for COVID-19. Okay. But I'm all right with them, comfortable with them, work and save my money, me ask my money, you know? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, C, that, that yeah. C-19, that, that C-19 is, is, is just... It's just messing up everybody, man. I mean, everybody that's uh, you know, at first in the beginning of this uh, of this epidemic, man, you you would think that it wasn't gonna mess with the trucking field, but later down yeah. later down the line, you know, where a lot of these uh big uh uh DCs that's closing due to the you know due to the employees you know catching the you know catching the virus you know what i'm saying a lot of a, a lot of places uh, a lot of distribution centers is closed down due to the fact you know that they, they trying to uh trying to curve the try to curve the 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 virus that's going on and it's a trickle down effect that's that's coming that's you know that's that's backing up onto us drivers, man. Because now the places where we normally go to, you know, for regular pickups, you know, is is yeah. is not there no more. So you know, you got these companies now that's laying off, laying off drivers that can't, you know, they they can't they can't ship out their products and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's uh it's it's you know it's putting a hurting on uh. On a lot of industries, not not just trucking, man. So, so you saying C nineteen is messing with your company as well, or messing with you know the 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 the, the owner operator that you that you driving for? For them, sir, we don't know. For them, sir. For them, sir. other truck working, so we don't know. Them, sir. Things slow, we don't know. Okay. A shipment now. So how is it? Work, I just now uh, no more up and down. Them up and down there, I'm tell you about. I want to just uh, come out of the business, you know? Okay. I look the experience. So I get the experience now. I master the business now. I know the business. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm not up and down with a heap of company again. No more JB on the snide. I'm learning the business now. Yeah, that's that's, that, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's that's a good thing. You know, a lot of a lot of drivers, you know, they, they should, you know, up their up their driver IQ. You know what I'm saying? To 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 learn not just the the driving side of, of trucking. They should learn the logistics side of trucking too. Especially that it give you that it give you a thing going forward mm-hmm. into owning your own truck. Speaking of which, man, so you you driving for for a owner operator. How how's the experience how's the experience driving for an owner operator? Well to be honest it's good and I'm love it. The EFA regime, the rules and regulation, mm-hmm. it's not too there. You get away with a lot of stuff when you drive for owner operator. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of stuff, you see more money, better money. Sometimes you put on your foot and say, Yo, what this may work for, or this may want a day, or whatever or you charge. So, with owner operator and companies, it's a big difference between it. But me like drive for owner operator or private man then, whatever way you want to call it. Me like drive for them. You get a nice truck, you tell them how you want your truck set up and everything. Oh, them I get good driver, you know. So I want good, nice, clean, pretty truck for driving. Okay. So with owner operator, you can demand those stuff. Company now not going to do that, then just go and get a truck and send you out there. Okay. Owner operator now, you say, I work more on this a day, more on this a hours, X, Y, Z. So it's good, good in it and bad in it, you know? Okay. But we still comply by rules and regulations, same way. It's just that it's much different and a little easier from company okay. rules. So what, what you, you say that uh, that the truck that you're driving, you know that the that the owner operator set it up for you. So what, what kind of... What kind of truck you driving? You got do do you got cameras in your trucks? Do they got a did he put a refrigerator in your truck? What's what's what kind of stuff they what, what kind of stuff that he outfit for you? Man, forgive me everything, man. With me, not lock out, man. If it just as our company set rules and regulation, lock out, man. Me as a driver, as me tell you, me learn the business and master the business. Me have my rules and regulation, you know. Me tell you how I want you to set up my truck. My fridge, my microwave, my TV, XYZ, XYZ. And my crumbs, and I love crumbs. So you have to crumbs up my truck too, you know. So that's all me work. But my truck, I mean, fridge, microwave, TV, you look satellite thing, APU, etc., etc., you know. My truck and my truck. It's just that me, you know, one it. But me tell them what I want to my truck. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. You know, yeah, come, that's come. what's up. That's what's up, man. All right. So, um, so what makes, what makes you interested in Canada companies? Like, I mean, okay. I mean, you call, I mean, you know, this, uh, you know, you, you sent me, you know, you sent me a text in IG and, and then messenger, you know, you know, asking me if I can, you know, find out information about, uh, Canada, you know about Canada companies, but what's what's the interest in in Canada? You 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 got plans to make a power move out to Canada, or what's 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 the plans for what's the plans for the future of Rick? No, I don't have plans to move there still, but I'm watching YouTube videos. I see how they run from Canada to America, sometime America to Mexico. You know, we go across the border. You get an extra figure across the border. I mean, you just need some of that experience. Or my, my master over the road, my master regional and local. So I'm going to say, I'm going to try one master figure across the border to see what it's like, you know? Oh, okay. So that's the main thing. But I'm not saying we make you richer. It's just experience me you want, you know? Oh, okay. Well, me not in this business every day. Okay. Well, like I said, well, like I said, man, you know, like I said, for, you know, as far as, you know, suggesting, you know, my suggestion to get a little bit more information about about Canada companies, you know, like I said, you know, if you roll up in a 
in a truck stop and you happen to come across a Canada driver or something like that, you know, you know, holler at him, you know, of course, keep the, keep the six feet distance. Cause you don't know how some of these drivers going to react when you walk up on them. But, um, but, uh, you know, ask them like, yo, you know, I, you know, I see, you know, Canada drivers driving in the U S and all like that. Uh, just kind of curious. How can, uh, how can an American, how can an American get on with, uh, with a Canada company, you know, and that's a, and you know what, that's, that is a good, uh, that, that is a good thing. I, I think, you know, I'm, I appreciate you giving me that, uh, that uh planting that bug in my ear man because i think what i'm gonna do like i said you know it's it's probably do what everybody else do google <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know I, I, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to google it i mean you know google the companies you know just go into google and be like just be like you know canada companies or whatever whatever you know what i'm saying so so yeah, that's like I said. My best suggestion is either, either you know, either talk to a, a Canada driver that you will see in the truck stop, or, or, or Google. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, I ch- check it out, huh? Well, that day I'm gonna go up by me and I'm gonna see a truck, but I don't know if I got the time to get out the number of it. It's a move so fast, you know. All right. But we're going to get there. We're ambitious, you know. Okay. We're going to get there. Yo, man, before I let you, before I let you go, man, like, you know, I appreciate you, uh, calling and, uh, and checking in and, uh, giving a little bit, you know, giving a little bit about yourself. I know you've been, you know, I know you've been following me on YouTube and, you know, through my Instagram and all like that. So I really, I really do appreciate the support, man. But, uh, when you go into, when you go into these shippers and receivers, <laughs> when you go into these shippers and receivers, man, and you you chop it up with them, what's their expression like when you when you break them off with your with your thick Jamaican accent? Oh, uh, some of them love it. The Maria say you could slow it down a little for me, please. That's a little. Them catch on quick, you know. But I can't slow it down and talk like you guys, you know. But I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so I'm just get my hotel. You don't want to be like nobody, you know. We can't slow it down like you guys, but no. Okay. I bite my tongue. Okay, okay. But what about let, let me ask you? This. Hey, 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 bro. Let let me ask you this, man. This this is off topic. This is off a uh, off trucking topic, man. When you <laughs> what, what's your what's what's your trucker status, man? You you single? You're you 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 marry you you got a significant other. What's your trucker status? Single, single, single. Yo, man, you 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 single. break off you you break off that that Jamaican accent on a female. How 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 that shit how that shit works on her, man? Them accents that came over my world, man. They slip right this summer. Ah, three two one. That accent I can't see well. Whoa, Jamaican! <laughs> no, I'm gonna start throwing stuff at them. I done it, done, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, Rick. Rick, man. Hey, man. Thanks for coming on, man. I, I really do appreciate it, man. We uh, I appreciate the chop up, man. I appreciate the support. I appreciate um. I, I appreciate the support and everything, man. So, uh, yo, you stay safe out there, man. And um, and you know, whenever you want to, whenever you want to chop it up, man, just uh, just get at me, and uh, huh. and we'll and we'll do that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I have a link. Just send me back a picture. I'm going to go and lift it back and sing. All right. I got you, man. Got you. All right, bro. You take it easy, man, and I'll talk with you in a minute. You too, man. Cool. All right. <laughs> Peace, bro. <laughs> that was my man, Rick. On the, on the check-in right quick. I appreciate him calling in. 
you know, talking about, uh, talking about, you know, just, just, just talking about the company that he's with. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what you guys do, man. Two one six six zero zero two zero nine zero, man. Just uh, just call me up and chop it up with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, whatever you want to talk about, you know, you want to talk about the company that you with, or you want to just do an interview about yourself. You know, let me know, man. I'm I'm right here. I'm right here. And like I said, if you want to come on, you can hit me up in the Gmail also. You know, lock out me in at Gmail. I mean, lock out me in podcast at gmail.com. Or subscribe to me on uh, Instagram and hit me up in the DM. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, come on and talk to me, man. So, again, I appreciate my man Rick coming on. I appreciate my man Rick coming on and, um, and doing the damn thing with us. You know what I'm saying? I am your humble host, Lockout Men. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. And on that note, for this little quick podcast, right quick, we are gone.